This woman opened her mouth before her brain was set. Eventually Sturgeon had to admit the Scots will have to pay a pension. Nicola Sturgeon was humiliated after she finally admitted UK taxpayers would not fund a state pension in an independent Scotland. Thank goodness this woman was able to understand such a simple matter. Is this the moment when Sturgeon's brain cells wake up? Last week, SNP leader in Westminster Ian Blackford said, absolutely nothing would change about the state pension payout if Scotland were independent. He insisted, the commitment to continue paying pensions rests with the UK government. The Scottish leader defied the vote to win the vote by lying to mislead the people. It sounds like Scotland wants to be politically independent but financially dependent. In an attempt to reassure pensioners, Mr Blackford compared Scotland's separation from the UK to a British expatriate living abroad but will continue to claim the state pension. The SNP doubled the claim this week and claimed Scots will be entitled to the pension contributions they have made to the UK system. However, on Wednesday, Scotland's first minister finally acknowledged that the Scottish government would fund Scottish pensions. Asked by BBC Scotland if she would accept no UK state pension fund to share, she said, of course, the Scottish government is responsible for paying the pension. There are over 1 million people aged 60 to 65 in Scotland. This will cost Scotland around £8.5 million a year. It's not a huge amount, but it's enough to shatter Nicola's dream of independence. Her escalation has been trumped by opposition parties, who say she is tying herself up on the issue. Guy Opperman, the current pensions minister, accused the SNP of misleading Scots. He said people working in the rest of the UK shouldn't pay their pension debts abroad. Despite Scotland's vote to remain part of the UK in 2014, Miss Sturgeon has continued to push for a second referendum and will decide on the timetable for another vote in due course. Short time. Perhaps the SNP received a promise from the EU that the bloc would pay in full for Scotland's dream of independence. Nicola is easily deceived and gives up her treasure to choose to live with a slum nothing more and nothing less. Scottish independence, a pipe dream for some Scots elitists, a complete nightmare for the rest of Scotland. Be careful what you wish for.